Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm doing what I call three element mini collages. I'll be working in my little notebook. I got this idea from Diane Hubert at Pretty Pink Cottage. I started these two years ago and I pull them out every now and then when I um, want to relax and just look at the pretty birds and and find funny sayings to go with them. And so I'm trying not to get any glare on it. It's kind of hard. So I find a bird in a background and then I find some words to put with it. This one. And then like choose to shine or perfection is overrated. And these don't have any words with them yet. I also started working in the back because Diane recommended with a, a little book like this that's um, stitched that you work one in the front and then one in the back and then one in the front and one in the back and it keeps the book from becoming distorted when it gets filled up with all the collages. So I started doing in the back also. And uh, this is one of my favorites. I'll, I'll come in a little bit closer on this one. It, this was from a t-shirt in an advertisement. They were advertising all kinds of t-shirts in a catalog and I found this one. It says, it's weird being the same age as old people. And then I found this old man, this kookaburra. And Diane does the white dots, so I tried that. In some places I didn't use so many dots. And then here are some surreal collages that I did. And here are some more. So I find a background and then um, match it up. This one they're on their own background. I thought they were so cute I should be able to find a cute saying for them. And then I also have my owl journal, which this is made from junk mail. And I have a video, which I made a second one of these, so I'll, I'll put that video up. And I'll put a link to that video so you can see how I made this out of junk mail. Again, I'm trying to fight the glare. And here's a, on a nice piece of cardstock, nice owl picture. And here I made an envelope. This is you know, this is not, nothing fancy. I'm not trying to cover up the fact that it's made out of junk mail. I do cover up the advertising and the addresses and things like that. Like, for instance, on this page, I'll find something pretty to put down here or, or maybe some words to put down here to go with these two little baby owls. And uh, here's some more owls, and I got room to put something down here. This one is all owls. This one uh, still has a lot of work to do on it. This one has uh, the starting of a, a tag to go in this space. And then I can work on that some more. And then all, I've got all this to fill up. So whenever I feel like sitting down, I worked in the garden this morning and so now I'm relaxing at my craft table. So I'm going to work on this one today and I've been collecting clippings from magazines and so here I have uh, birds and butterflies in this drawer and then in this drawer I have larger pictures and but mostly backgrounds, things I can use for backgrounds. Here's some owls to go in the owl book. And different kinds of backgrounds. And these drawers are in a set that I bought on Amazon. I can't pull it right out now to show you because um, I have a couple of them piled on top of each other. But they come with different size drawers and different configurations of drawers. They're for jewelry mostly is what they're advertised for but they can also be used for makeup and for um, craft tools and craft supplies and I'm using them to sort my collage clippings. 
So first I'll look for a background for my page. And I have a, a template here so I can see how big I want. Oh, look at this. I have a love-hate relationship with squirrels. I love them. They moved into my neighborhood a few years ago and they wreak havoc. They actually ate my marigolds. I thought marigolds were resistant to that kind of thing. Some more owls. Woodpecker. Here are some backgrounds that I already sorted out for the little bird book. I've already cut them to size, so I think I'll just start with that. Put these back for now. I like these scenic ones and some that are just sort of nondescript textures. Here's an old building and a waterfall. Then I also use, um, from art magazines, I'll cut out abstract items that other people have painted that show up in the art magazines. There's one with some stitchery, some fabric art, more stitchery. These are from old, I believe, cloth, paper, scissors magazines. This one says grateful, which I left the word on there, cut it out so I could keep the word. And some flowers from Birds and Blooms magazine. So I have a lot of backgrounds, so I need to find a subject that will fit on one of these backgrounds. Here's some I've already cut out. They're so cute. hummingbird feeding its little tiny baby. Well this one has attitude. I like that. I like that attitude. This one too. He's got some attitude going. There's some owls from an owl journal. Roots and Blooms always has one issue dedicated to owls and another issue dedicated to hummingbirds. It's everybody's favorites. That one's too big for my little book, but he's got some attitude too. And then there's this guy. So let's start with those. This hummingbird is cute. They're all so cute it's hard to choose. to cut these out and I think I want him about like this. And then 
I will be back and we'll start collaging. I've trimmed the birds and I used scissors and I also used my exacto knife. So this bird goes like this. This bird was doing a little dance. So his feathers were moving back and forth when the photographer took the picture and it kind of blurred them. I've seen wrens do that same dance in my backyard. This is a Bob White. So let's see if we have anything that'll, that'll look okay. I want to contrast, like this is nice and dark. This bird will show up, but his branches don't show up. This is pretty with the berries. These magazine pages are really thin, so I wanted to work fast and get that art glitter glue pressed down before it left any ridges. You can see some ridges in here, but the paper is really thin and uh, felt like it was going to tear. So now I need to find some quips. And I like funny quips. So I will go to my journal words from Karen Tamir. I use these a lot. If you've seen my other collages, you've seen me use these. She has two different sets, at least two different sets. One is affirmations about being an artist and the other ones are just snarky. So it usually takes me a while to go through these and find just the right one.
So I use these folders to store all my um, digitals that I buy on Etsy from different artists. I put their name here and I have it in a hanging file folder. And it's called a CD report folder. I got them on Amazon. It has a pocket here for a CD which I use for the small pieces and then a larger pocket here which I use for the printout. And they work really great. I like them. So I'm not going to um, give him a, a quirky quote. I'm just going to leave grateful as his, as his thing. But there's one more step to do. So I have my Stabilo pencil and I have glue all over my fingers. And I just go in and I outline everything. Then take my water brush, which is empty right now, so I'll just dip it in some water and blend in the Stabilo pencil mark. There's nothing neat about these collages. They're kind of grungy and just sort of haphazard and a lot of fun. So the black line helps to bring the main subject forward. It also covers up the white paper from where you were cutting, where the white edges of the paper show, or any of the background color shows. For instance, this one had a dark background and you can see the dark edge on there. When I go through and um, put some lines on there, it'll blend it all in. And then I'm going to find something to cover that up with. This little notch where um, the page was cut out. So I have all kinds of things in here. I have some stamps. I have a little music. I have the number six or nine. Let's see what he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's number nine. I could just stick that on there. little bird. I could put some of this music on here.
Okay, my two little pages are finished. So on this one, underestimate me, that'll be fun. And on this one it says sore, and then down here it says grateful. I don't do the white uh, dots anymore because I found the pen really hard to work with. That's why over here I just skipped into a few dots and then pretty soon I didn't do any dots. I like them, but the um, pen was too temperamental. Okay, I think maybe I will find some place to glue one of my owl pictures in. So I've got this beautiful one here. I think I'll put him right here. I think I'll mark him. This is a heavy paper, so I'm going to use the art glitter glue. Now I'm going to go outside and turn off the sprinklers, and then I'll come back and maybe I'll do a little more work in my owl book. So I hope you enjoyed this type of collage and might try it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day collaging. Bye-bye.